פרשה מדיטיישן, פרשת נוח. The routine of our year has taken root, the sweet scent of rain is in the air. When, if it wasn't smita, now it would be the time to sow new seeds to begin anew and become rooted in the moisture of Torah. As the nights grow longer, we increase Torah study. We move inward, seeking protection from the storms of life by tuning into Hashem's holy words of Torah. No matter what craziness may be raging in the world around us, we can feel safe in our own personal space. Perhaps I'm naive, but all we have is his word, which I trust. So the meditation below is designed to help us overcome the waves of worry and feel benoach, at rest, in complete peace with ourselves. The great flood of Noah teaches us that no matter how much people mess up, there's always a way out of total destruction. Hashem imbues us with his power of protection. So no matter how much we may miss the mark, God forbid, there'll, there'll never again be total destruction like the great flood. We will always have our personal ark, a place of purity, where we can seek refuge from all matters of corruption. The Zohar teaches that Noah alludes to Shabbos Kodesh. Noah found grace by means of keeping Shabbat. Similarly, Shabbat gives us the power to overcome all kind of negative influences in the world. Whoever keeps Shabbat according to Halakha, Jewish law, is forgiven, even if he worshiped idols. The power of Shabbat protects us even from the worst situations for the holy Shabbat corresponds to Noah's Ark, which protected him from the waters of the deluge. Noah's Ark, also alludes to the Holy Torah, which provides us with protection. Hashem assures us, I've created the Yetzara, and I've created the Torah, its antidote. The Torah is the power of protection from the corruption of the generation of the flood. The story of Noah's Ark teaches us that we have the ability to detain the impure forces from spreading and prevent them from entering the ark, our personal space, by means of the power of Torah. Whenever we feel down and low, when our personal world is at the verge of collapse, it's time to make for yourself an ark. This is the time to seek refuge in our personal sacred space that holds the spark of life, which enables us to rebuild our broken spiritual world. The ark is built by means of the one mitzvah that each and every Jew keeps to perfection in any situation, no matter how much resistance we may experience. This spark of life gives us otherworldly powers to overcome even the fiercest storm for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be. The little spark within us where there is no wickedness is our personal ark that saves us from all corruption. This can be compared to a person who is drowning in the sea. Someone throws him a rope and he can hold on to it. Whenever we hold on to the rope, we can thrive. Drowning in the sea symbolizes the darkest feelings of despair and the rope is the little spark within us. Elevating us above our desperate situation, empowering us to return to our source, to our sacred space of the ark, the teva. The Hebrew word for ark, teva, can also mean word. God is telling us 
come to the word of Torah and tefillah, prayer. This is true all year long, but especially now in the aftermath of the holidays, when we have been earnestly working on ourselves, if we, if we practice aligning our actions with our divine self, now at the beginning of the year, it will be easier all year long. Meditation. Sit comfortably in your chair, close your eyes and take several deep breaths. <sighs> Breathe deeply and feel relaxed in all the limbs of your body. Imagine that you face a turbulent sea. There are bright, sh shining, threatening waves as far as your eyes can see. Each stormy wave of the waters of Noah represents another one of your worries. Worries about your place in the world, about Panasa, money, your health, your children, your future. Visualize how each worry is whisking over you, almost drowning you, making you pant for breath. Within the sea of your worries, there is a light, a small light of peace. You hear a heavenly voice softly whispering into your ear, come to the ark, Bo El Hateva, again and again, come to the ark, come to the ark. Listen to the voice and enter into your personal ark. Now you can float safely above the waves of your worries. You, you are neither cold nor wet, just floating. You're floating, floating softly, allowing Hashem to steer the course. Breathe deeply and, react, and relax even more knowing that all your worries will evaporate by trusting that Hashem will steer you to secure shores. Now pray to Hashem in your own words. You may pray something like, Hashem, please save me. Without you, I'll certainly drown and perish. Feel Hashem's presence and experience how the waters purify the world and yourself. Visually, visualize how each foamy wave washes over you and cleanses you from all of your worries. Remember, when a flood of worries tries to engulf you, have faith in God. Instead of drowning, you'll be lifted above the water by the teva, the words of prayer and Torah learning. From within your eyes, you can feel the waves of the flood above and below you while you're safe, held safely inside your teva. Your sacred space, your word of Torah and tefillah. Now alive, you allow yourself to feel benoach, at peace, at rest, in complete peace for yourself. Inhale as you imagine the sound of no. Exhale while you imagine the sound of ach. Repeat this sequence four times. No. Ah. No. Ach. No. Ach. No. Ah. Then open your eyes. Worries and mundane matters are sometimes referred to as the waters of Noah. In addition to causing destruction, the flood also purified the world and brought rest, Noah, to God. Similarly, 
there is an inner purpose for the worry flooding our life. These worries are meant to stir us into prayer and purify us by strengthening our faith in God. The solitude, quiet, and relative security of the ark, guide, guided totally by Hashem's hands, can provide comfort, transforming the story of the flood into a positive and uplifting experience. Why an ark? An ark differs from a boat in that it has no steering mechanism. The word teva ark is only used in the Torah in reference to Noah's vessel and to the basket in which baby Moshe was sent off into the Nile. In both cases, the hope of humanity was a set afloat with God, with God alone to steer the course. Okay, that's it. Hold on. Yeah.